Papa, appreciating his good services in the palace, gave him two beautiful girls as a reward. Without thinking much, he started to live with them in his house. Fortunately, Charles Luanga and Andrew Kagwa, at the catechist, counseled him. They even invited Father Lodell to hear his confession, and he totally broke away from these relationships. He moved from his house and started living in a small hut near the palace. He, consecrate, he concentrated in deep prayer and fasting as a way of true repentance. When he was going to be burnt here at Namgongo, he cried of thirst to his brother Bosa, who offered him some beer. He declined the offer. He remembered Christ on the cross and told his brother Bosa, a fountain issued for many springs never dries up. We shall disappear, but others will replace us. Because St. Bruno Serunkuma, rejecting beer towards his death, is known as the patron of temperance, that is, those who are struggling to overcome excessive use of alcoholic drinks, including drugs. Considering this batch of temperance, we find it lacking in many of us Ugandans today. Uganda is the leading country in the use of alcohol in East Africa. It's number one. The seventh in Africa. Isn't that a shame? As a consequence, we have many problems which include domestic violence, chronic poverty, and other related health problems some of which are mental. We just need to go to Butabek Hospital and you'll see what is happening there. These are also, um, and this is seen among the youth who are being taken up by excessive use of drinks, including drugs. Let us seek the intercession of St. Bruno Tsurunkuma, and as we guide the youth to break from peer groups which are destructive their lives. To change their lifestyle of being redundant, lazy, and being idle. Those of us struggling to overcome the weakness in the use of alcoholic drinks and drugs, especially among the youth, let us turn to St. Bruno Sarunkuma. He may be our model, a great example. But also let us ready to embrace manual work, practical skills which may help us come away from the streets looking for white collar jobs which are not there. I'll speak of the fifth example of Saint Matia Mulumba. He hailed from Busoga. He was one of the chiefs of Kabaka in Buganda. He had many ways, but when he became a Christian at the age of 50, he had to part away with all the other waves and remain with one following the teaching of Christ of monogamy. He remained faithful to her till his death. As such, is known as the patron of families. Let all the married couples learn and follow the example of this saint, Matia Mulumba. Besides those outstanding virtues I have mentioned, the martyrs were always moved by the word of God, what they taught, what they were taught by the white fathers, and shared it among themselves, even among very hard conditions of faith of the Kabaka and other chiefs who are not for them. For instance, they would teach the faith at night after 10 p.m. when Kabaka and his chiefs had gone to bed. They would secretly move under the cover of darkness from Mong Mengo to Nalkolongo and to other places to learn their faith, being careful not to be caught. When the faith fathers, when the white fathers had withdrawn from Buganda to Tanzania, the martyrs 
would go by boat across Lake Victoria to go and learn more about the faith. They would return and share among